Time frame, images of a generation. We grew up in a simpler time. We sang. Hey kids, what time is it? We laughed. Hello, boy. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. We cried. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. We fought. We loved. We were attacked. Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. Our flag was still there. Now these memories come to life on posters that can be yours today. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for your copies today. That's HowdyBoomy.com. HowdyBoomy.com. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. As you see by the 60-second little blurb before this setting here, uh, go to the website. It's dedicated to baby boomers. It's going to become huge. Uh, there's a video on the website that shows you exactly where we're going. It's going to take some money, but we're going to get it. And it's just for the baby boomer generation. This little ditty here is the observations of a boomer on today's human condition and how you look at it with a sense of humor or just a one big question mark. I was a guest on Dr. Phil the other day, I guess, and uh, stated that giving birth does not make one a woman or a mother. Now, they call this person non-binary. Now, I'd like to know who comes up with the tags that would make the normal thought process opaque, and you wonder what they're talking about non-binary. They, they come up with something to try to make them inclusive into society where the medical term for these people is screwed up. I would use, the, instead of screwed, another term beginning with F. But it's just amazing to me how people come up with terms to try to make them seem normal when they're not. This non-binary person, the first time I heard that is when Biden had someone in his cabinet or his spokesman that was standing in front of a podium addressing the press and address a guy. And I, I just said to myself, this is where America is going. This is our leadership. What do you think people overseas are thinking? Absolutely amazing. So it, it, what the world is, is trying to tell you is they're bending over backwards to be accommodating, but now it's gone a little bit too far. The press is taking it too far, and that's what's got to be changed. These people are screwed up. The tail is wagging the dog. The majority of Americans must be heard, which is us. We're normal. We get up in the morning. We work hard. We care about our kids. We care about our family. We enjoy our free time. We love this country. And I just don't understand why all these idiots are getting all the air time, all the newspaper time, probably because it sells newspapers. But I don't want them anywhere in my neighborhood. I feel bad for Senator Dianne Feinstein out of California who they're calling for her resignation because she basically doesn't know where she is. I mean, she could join Biden in the White House and they would have a grind time playing hide-and-go-seek and they'd be there forever because nobody would find anybody. But it's just, uh, it's sad when you get that old, but only in government can you be incompetent, not know what you're doing, hold a position forever because you have seniority. Do people with, do business with people that are dumber than you are which in many cases the American voter, and get reelected just because of your name or your constant being there or bringing money in. It's just absolutely amazing. I feel sorry for I feel sorry for the people in California who are being represented by someone who basically has no idea what's going on. Joe Biden says he has no idea of his son's businesses, which I find almost impossible to believe. If you have a kid, you talk to him. You talk to him all the time. Hunter Biden was appointed some type of position, the liaison to the Ukraine. How did he get that? Well, Joe was his, the vice president under the Obama administration. And Hunter got that position at $83,000 a month, plus the corrupt 
bribe he got from the Ukraine officials, which is still probably a very, very corrupt country. But Joe know, knew nothing about it. Joe knew nothing about the millions of dollars coming from China to hunt through Hunter Biden to his family. Joe knew nothing about it. If he's that stupid, why is he president of the United States? So it's all a big lie. The press is covering up for him. But we're going to find out if the Republicans have the gonads to go after him because they're getting blocked at every turn by the Democrats in the Senate who are holding up investigations into the Biden family, which is probably one of the most corrupt families in the United States political history. Hopefully, after all this is revealed, hopefully, it'll be shown that no American died because of the actions of the Biden family, but you'd never know that. You'd never know in dealing with the Chinese what they bought from the Biden family in silence, in favors, no one knows. And knowing the Biden family and their deception, maybe we won't find out, but as I said previously, we need a bulldog in the Republican Party to go after these people. Get down in the dirt, just like the Democrats do. We need a Republican Adam Schiff who can lie who can make up stories. We need a Republican Hillary Clinton, who is the liar-in-chief, who can make up stories, to go after the Repub the Democratic no-gooders, Democratic liars, Democratic people in the government who are disregarding the rule of law and playing the American people for chumps. Here in Buffalo, New York, there was a shooting last May 14th, I believe, where a dozen people, black people, were killed in a Topps supermarket store by a white kid who became indoctrinated in white supremacy over the Internet. I've mentioned this earlier, and now they're coming out with a memorial weekend to honor those who were killed and bring to the forefront what should be done. They have a committee who is supposed to determine an, an apt memorial for those who are killed, and it's time for the black community to stand up and do something constructive. No fountains, no government money to fund some goofy projects in the inner city where certain people will get rich and the majority of people won't, won't even know what's going on. No fountains, no statues. Build a store. You raised seven and a half million dollars in memorial funds that were distributed to the kin and survivors of this attack by this idiot. You can raise multi-million dollars, buy a block, put up a supermarket, train people. There are black attorneys, black venture capitalists, black bankers, black people in the grocery business. Build a store. Do something that will benefit the community forever. The reason this guy went to this store, because he knew that the black communities, as they are all probably across the country, are underserved by grocery stores. Build a store. You will find out what's wrong in your community. You will begin to combat it, but at the same time, bring some relief and bring some pride and bring a permanent memorial. And you could do this nationwide once you perfect this. It'll probably take a couple years, but you can do it. Build a store as a dedicated memorial to these poor souls who died. And it will last forever and it can be shown across the United States. You can make a template and do this nationwide. Build a store. Do something constructive for a change rather than sitting back trying to find some government program that's going to fund programs that on the inner city haven't worked in 60 years. I hope you have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Howdy Boomy Show. Go to howdyboomy.com. Uh, take a look at the merchandise. God bless America. God bless all of you, and we'll see you soon.